was sweet. How was that? Was that all right? Yeah, that was sweet. I'm Scott, y'all. Uh, Scott Robinson. Um, Scotty Robs, what they call me. And uh, I'm an Uber driver here in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, one thing that kind of changed my life got me, you know, in a new positive uh, direction. I'd say um, a few years back, uh, my dad was diagnosed with cancer, um, cancer of the colon, and it it went pretty much spread everywhere. And um, they said he didn't have long to live. And, uh, you know, he went through chemo and surgeries, a bunch of stuff. And um, it just kept coming back every single time. And uh, at the time, I mean, I was, I was screwing around, you know, not doing much of anything. I, you know, college dropout, um, drinking, you know, doing drugs. And, and when I found that out, everything changed. Um, suddenly, I, I had a goal, you know, and I had to, I had to achieve it. And um, what's your goal? My goal is, uh, and this is this is one of those things where I tell people, and they either understand or they think it's the weirdest thing in the world. Um, but my goal is actually to cryopreserve my father when he dies. So um, it's a thing that's done occasionally. Um, people choose to instead of being buried or cremated, they choose to be frozen essentially um, until at such a time that whatever they had could be fixed and and they could be brought back in some form and I mean I'm big into like like futurism and transhumanism and I, I believe we're coming to a point where we're going to merge with our technology and we're going to be able to essentially live forever and I don't want my dad to miss the boat so yeah. um, I'm working to, to pay up for his, his preservation and uh, he's still hanging in there. Bless his heart. I mean, he's he was given three to six months, and it, I mean, he's coming up. Uh, I mean, his last time he was given three to six months, and I mean, he's coming up on it. He he's still fine. I mean, he's he's making it. I I think he's gonna beat it. I, I think. So. Yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, my man, I'm crying just every time I talk about about it. I, you know, I get real emotional, but. Does anything like if your dad see this, what would you want to tell him? <laughs> um, I love you, Dad, and I just hope I can make you proud. Um, because I've you know I've screwed up a lot in my life, but I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, definitely gonna make him proud. You stay on this track. <laughs> Why are you making me proud? And I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Hey, this is um, this is a uh, one one odd Uber ride. And uh, when my passengers ask me, all right, what's what's the what's the weirdest, but not in a bad way. But what's the what's the most interesting experience you've ever had in Uber? I think this is gonna be uh, on the list somewhere. Right next to me, uh, taking those trannies to. Uh, DC. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was that was an interesting ride too. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, excuse my uh, use uh, transsexuals, transgender cool. pe people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, hey, man, I, I appreciate you letting me tell my story. Peace.